tiny ship turning on Yangon River. It's a bit rusty for a well-known shipping line. The noises from the Cross River Sampa is a real noisy one. I don't see any propeller wash. I would expect they were using the propellers, one going forward and one going backwards and swing the back. But maybe it has a tag on the over there which we don't see. So at my back is Yangon and across the river is Dala. And now I see propellers working there. This is like one of these Norwegian slow movies, but this one is comparatively fast. I think the Norwegians have things like, uh, I don't know, it was very slow everything. I think Maersk shipping line just went north of Asia from east to west. With the uh, ice in, in for, was a reinforced ship, and he did uh, help by icebreakers, which are the Russian atomic powered ones. So it's uh, it save some time, but it's uh, more costly and only have three months a year at the moment, and maybe more in the future if the ice goes away. I don't know if this ship has two or one propeller. Two is good for many reasons, of course, so you can hold the rear part of the boat ship sideways. If you lost propulsion on one propeller, you have the other one left. With some people down here, some wind. It's about six o'clock. Yeah, we let us take in this one. He was in. It's a typical outside. Typical Delta freighter. And uh, maybe 20 more of them over there. Difficult to see, probably. They are typically 70 years old. Yangon. Strand Road in there. down there and yeah, now looks like she's driving forward has made a turn
a long signal, I don't know what that means exactly. One short says I'm going starboard, that is, uh, we would say, turning right. Two short ones is I'm turning port, which is left. Three is my engine is going full power astern. The other ships what you should be able to know what you're about to do or what's going to happen. And I would say if there are like five short ones if the when a captain gets nervous when there are too many small boats tossing around on the river in front of him. Uh, long story short, the ship is Heading for the sea or for another place of uh, taking on or of cargo.